Today we're talking about how to increase your pitching accuracy and have pinpoint pitching control. Here's a question. Hi, my name is Tate and I'm wondering how I can increase my pitching accuracy. Thank you so much, Tate. That's a great, great question. I got a great answer for you. But before we get there, for you guys watching, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you think pitching accuracy is important, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. If you don't think it matters and you just want to throw gas all the time, no matter what you just did, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Then go to the comment section. Let me know that you're subscribed and ask me any baseball questions that you may have. Now, to answer your question, I've got five things that I want you to think about when it comes to pitching accuracy. And you may have heard me talk about these things before. I, I often quote four things, but I'm adding one more to it. The first thing is going to be consistency. You have to have the consistency in your delivery and your approach when you're pitching to have consistency with your accuracy. If you're inconsistent with your movement and you're stepping in a different spot every time or you're doing something different with your arms every time or your release point is different every time, obviously your location, your accuracy is going to be different every time. So the more consistent you can be with your delivery, the more repeatable you can be with your delivery, the better your pitching accuracy is going to be. If you want to know what I think the best repeatable, consistent mechanics look like, I want you to go watch this video. It's called the nine pitching velocity killers. And I break down a lot of the killers that a lot of guys do, the velocity killers. And then I also show you the correct way or what I think is the best way to get the most out of your pitching. So if you can consistently do those things right here, click that and go watch the video. If you can consistently do those, then you're going to have velocity plus the accuracy. The second thing for pitching accuracy is going to be conviction. And conviction just means the belief, the belief in your mind and the belief in your heart that you're going to throw the ball where you want to throw the ball. So if you're up there and you're like, oh, man, ah, fastball inside, oh, I don't want to hit this guy. That's not having conviction. OK, but if your catcher goes uh, curveball down and out and you're like, got it, I'm about to nail it. You throw it in there. That's having conviction. OK, having that belief, that that belief in your heart and belief in your mind, the knowing that you're going to hit that spot. If you have that second guessing of yourself, you're probably not going to hit that spot, or at least you're not going to hit that spot as consistently as you would if you had that full confidence. Number three is visualization. And there's two things for visualization that I talk about. One is actually visualizing the pitch before you do it. So you're up there on the mound, you look into the catcher and you see where the catcher is holding his glove, but you also see a path on which that ball is traveling. Okay, for me, it was like a little laser beam almost to where I release the ball to where it goes into the catcher's glove. Okay, that's what I saw in my head. You don't have to close your eyes or anything. You can do it with your eyes open when you're up there. Just kind of see it. Imagine it. Okay, imagine the path of the ball or actually visualize the actual ball moving to the catcher's glove where you're going. Okay, whatever it is for you. Again, like I said, for me, it was like a little laser beam. I saw the, the movement almost like they would do on um, the... Uh, TV when you're watching a game, you know, they show some, sometimes they show the trajectory of the ball with like a little laser. That's what I saw in my head. That's what I imagine. Whatever you have to use to imagine it, that's what I want you to do. I want you to visualize it before you throw that pitch. The second part of visualization is if you take five minutes a day and throw a bullpen in your head and hit every single spot that you're throwing to. Okay. I know it may sound crazy, but they actually did a study in Australia. And I found the video. It's an old study. And I found the video. I'll put a link to it below. Um, I found the, the short clip of it where the guy talks about throwing darts. And this guy was throwing darts, okay, left-handed. And they had him throw however many darts left-handed. Then for one month, for five minutes a day, he was only allowed to uh, think about throwing darts left-handed, okay, for five minutes a day, hitting the bullseye. That's what he thought. Hit the bullseye, hit the bullseye, hit the bullseye. He wasn't allowed to actually throw any darts. Just think about it. Imagine it for five minutes a day. When he came back, his numbers had doubled. He increased the, the, the distance from his throws to the bullseye. And I think he hit the bullseye a couple times. So we could do the same thing with baseball. Take five minutes a day and throw a bullpen in your head and hit your spot every single time. You don't even have to go out there because in pitching, we only have so many bullets. So we can't go out there and throw bullpens every single day and work on our pitching accuracy, right? But we can every single day for five minutes. Everyone's got five minutes. Five minutes, throw a bullpen in your head and hit every single spot that you're throwing to. Make sense? 
I also made a video called Increase Your Pitching Accuracy in Five Minutes, and I'll leave a link to that right here um, as well as down below. And if you're interested in increasing your pitching accuracy, that's going to be another good video to watch when you're done with this one. Number four, the fourth thing is body control. you got to be able to control your body moving down the mound to be consistent. So it's like a circle, a full circle, right? If we have that body control, now we're going to be able to control our body and be consistent with our movement. Now, how do we work on body control? That has a lot to do with balance and coordination. So strength training, being stronger, being an athlete, being balanced, working on all these training, the training aspect of pitching, like the working out part of it is going to help you with your body control, which is going to help you with your consistency. And then we go back in the loop and we keep working on those four things. But like I said, I've got an extra thing for you today. The fifth thing that you need to work on when you're trying to increase your pitching accuracy, and that is practice. Talking about practice? Yeah, we're talking about practice. I know before when we were talking about visualization, I said you can't throw every day. Uh, You can't. I mean, you can't pitch a bullpen every day, but you do have to practice your accuracy when you're throwing your bullpen. And that's just knowing it. You know, practice these four things when you're throwing your bullpens, right? Think about consistency. If you're inconsistent, what can you fix? Think about your conviction. So before you go to throw that pitch, analyze how you're feeling and how you're thinking before you throw that pitch in your bullpen. Work on your visualization. See that pitch before it happens. And you better be doing your homework and doing the five-minute visualization bullpens, too, as well. And then get the work in the gym and doing all your workouts and stuff. So that's what I mean by practice, okay? Put it into work. Don't just watch this video and go, that's some good information, and then forget about it and don't do anything about it. Because if you want to increase your pitching accuracy, you got to work on it, okay? you got to put in the time and the effort to get better. Those who want it are going to grind it out and get it. All right, now it's time for the 100,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm going to be giving away one of something, anything that you want on my website, whether it be one of the shadow boxes, whether it be a King of the Hill leg drive trainer, whether it be a mini wiffle ball uh, pitching machine, whatever it is on my website, one of my programs, no matter what you want, you're going to get to pick and you get it. Now, when we get to 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to pick out a name out of here, okay? Now, how do you get your name on here and into there? That's the question. There's two ways to do it. One you ask me a question on video and send it to my email. And if I use it in a YouTube video like this one, I'm going to put your name on a sheet of paper and put it in here for your chance to win when we get to 100,000 subscribers. The second way for you to win is to answer the trivia question that I'm about to give you. And the question is, what year was I drafted by the San Diego Padres? Let me know. Leave your comment down below. One of the correct answers is going to be chosen randomly, and you must be a subscriber. So if you're not a subscriber, please go and subscribe right now. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. You can send your video questions to yougoprobaseball at gmail.com. Talk to you in the next video.